everyone, welcome back. So today I have my January favourites. This year, we're already at the end of January, so as I get older, the years just go by faster. So I just feel like every month I'm gonna be like, guys, it's that time of the month again for favourites. And it just goes very quickly. So the first favourite, take a guess, what's surgically attached to my head now, basically? Oh, something just got delivered. Um, a beret. A beret is surgically now attached to my head. I've got this pink one, which is from H&M. Grey one from Primark. Black one from ASOS. I've got a personalised pink one. It's got B on it. That's from... Uh, I just got sent that by Soap and Glory. I just absolutely love a beret. And I just feel like, how do I do hair without a beret now? Like, <laughs> I go through hat phases. Do you remember the fedora phase I went through where I literally wore nothing else other than a fedora, like I would constantly wear, be wearing a fedora. So now it is the year of the beret. And also another non-beauty favourite, and I think I mentioned this at the end of last year, and it's still going strong. It's Grey's Anatomy. I'm now on series, se well season 11 at the end of it. And if you know Grey's Anatomy, and if you're past that point, you know what happens at the end of season 11. Oh my good gracious was not prepared. I was like, is this a dream? I was like, this can't be happening, but it did happen. And, uh, oh wow. Okay then. Was not prepared. I cry constantly at Grey's Anatomy. I, I'm, a, I'm a crier. Um, but wow, I absolutely adore Grey's Anatomy. So going on to some beauty bits, I decided not to do like things I've been loving in the past few months because I haven't done a favourites for a while, but I've done I've picked, put together some bits that I've solely been loving just in January um, that I've gravitated towards. There are some old favourites here as well, things that I've had for quite a while that I have, the love has resurfaced. Um, so we're just gonna get cracking. I'm gonna start with this one. It's a bit wet because it has been in the shower. And as you can see, I am nearly at the end of it. This is by Sanctuary Spa. This is the White Lily and Damask Rose Body Wash. So body wash is kind of like a bit boring. It's a bit of an essential. You have to use it every day, otherwise you will smell. So you use it in the shower, you use it in your bath. You know what body wash is. Body wash is body wash, but there are like luxury body, I was gonna say luxurious, luxurious body washes. We've got the likes of Jo Malone that I've talked about before. Their body washes are insane. They're so gorgeous, you feel like you're at a spa. But the price tag's quite hefty and it runs out quite quickly as the same amount of any body wash would. This one, however, is Sanctuary Spa. You find it in Boots, it's really affordable. Uh, they often do deals at Boots and also you can get a travel size of this as well. This is as luxury as, but it's got such a small price tag and I don't feel bad when I use it. Like I can just be like, whoosh, wash and then wash again. Ooh double lather um and it's absolutely fine like i don't feel guilty for like literally using 10 pounds of wash um i absolutely love this stuff as you can tell i think i've got this at the beginning of january so it has lasted me a month um but it's comforting cleansing infused with rose water lily and bursting with jojoba beads but it's just absolutely it just smells absolutely incredible and the smell really lingers on the skin as well so a bit of double whammy speaking of scents this I got for one of my Christmas presents actually. This is the uh, Valentina fragrance. I'm guessing it's just, yeah. <clears throat> this is the Valentina Aqua Floral Eau de Toilette Valentino. Just the Valentina fragrance. It's one of my favourites and it has been for a few years now. But my old one ran out very quickly and I haven't used it in a long time. So my grandma actually got me this. And as I opened it, I was like, yes. And I sprayed it and all of the memories of that year that I wore this just came flooding back. I find it so interesting how a scent can do that. Um, but it's just so feminine and floral and classy and grown up. <laughs> can I, let me spray. I just sprayed it on the palm of my hand. That's not normal, but okay. Oh, guys. And my mum also wears this as well. So it's very like reminiscent of my mama. Um, but yes, absolutely have been loving this. That's been my go-to scent of the month. And look, can we see how much I've already used? I think I go a bit overboard with fragrance, but I just want to smell good. Like I like, I love what being like going into getting into someone's car and then being like, oh, you smell, not that I get into people's cars a lot. Um, but like, I love going, I don't know how to make this sound not okay. If my friends come and pick me up, I get in like, oh my gosh, you smell amazing. I'm like, Thanks. 
it's this or it, or it's the body wash lingering but yeah i like being the person that you can smell <laughs> in a good way uh sticking with before we go on to makeup because the rest is makeup i've got this this is quite a new launch i believe it literally looks like i've not touched it just because of the texture of it but this is by pixie and you know that pixie is probably up there with one of my favorite beauty ranges beauty brands for their makeup and skincare it's very rare that i like both makeup and skincare from a beauty brand but i absolutely adore pixie and it's cruelty free um this is the rose caviar essence encapsulated moisture serum so you can use this in the morning and at night and you use this after cleansing and toning and you just pop a bit on the tips of your your fingertips and you just like pat that in on the decolletage as well the neck and it just it smells amazing and it you kind of think oh is it going to absorb but it does absorb and it just awakens the skin and really freshens it and really prepares it for your makeup and I just think it smells gorgeous and again it's just like a little spa treatment in the morning which why would you not want and also at night I use it both in the morning and at night it says oh yeah it does say use am and pm actually after cleansing and toning press gently onto skin neck and decolletage and let it absorb there we go so it actually says encapsulated Flower oil suspended in this weightless serum essence melt onto the skin, delivering fresh botanicals to hydrate and restore brightness. Antioxidant rich natural oils nourishes and softens for all skin types. And that it does. I really, really like this. And it just smells absolutely amazing. Um, I use this in plate. So this is my other night product but i wouldn't use both of them. This is the Midnight Recovery Concentrate by Kiehl's which is also a serum like type thing um i wouldn't use both at the same time but this is like amazing as well so the foundation that i have been gravitating towards is the giorgio armani power fabric long wear high cover foundation spf 20 mine is in the shade two so i normally like quite a light coverage i normally go for like a bb cream or um what foundations have i been wearing recently I like the Too Faced one, I like, oh I've been wearing the Rodeal Skin Tint and then that ran out so I went back to this. This is quite high coverage but if I put it on with a beauty blender, which I do, you can put one, literally one little pump on your hand and the beauty blender just will do its thing and then I don't need powder because it's, power, I was going to say it's powder fabric but it's not, it's power fabric. So it's, it gives the it's not like a dewy foundation, I wouldn't say it's a matte foundation, it could be a matte foundation. It depends how your skin type is, but on me, I do not, I haven't got um, powder on right now. I've just got this and then my contour, blush, highlight, all the good stuff. Um, but this has been my go-to foundation recently and I just find that it stays on all day. I've had some really long days in January. There's a day where I went on a school trip because my sister's a teacher. So I went to... Um, Harry Potter Studios tour with her. I've been before, absolutely love it. We're going off on a tangent here. But long story short, the coach left at 7 a.m. So I had to get ready at like six. And then we got back and we got back at like five and then I went out for the night. So, and it stayed on and it was great. And I absolutely love this. And so far, so good. Not any complaints with this. I just adore it. Something I always worry about with heavier coverage foundation is the cakey look or if it looks thick or in certain lights it looks cracky this one doesn't so you're good to go i've got two eye products now and the first one is the charlotte tilbury eyes to mesmerize in marie antoinette this one i have been using as a base and then i use the charlotte tilbury dolce vita over the top i have got that on now it just makes doing your eyeshadow very easy you could literally just apply this and blend it out and you're good to go it's just a really easy one step eyeshadow look really i recommend this to my mum because she doesn't have a lot of time in the morning she can just pop this on and she's good i will say though i feel like it's gone a bit funny like i feel like i need to get the hair dryer to it so it melts back down into place because it's gone a bit like crumbly i don't know if the texture's changed or what but i still really love this this is it's just the perfect bronzy shimmery brown and i definitely would wear this on its own if i'm just well I'm either an all or nothing kind of girl. I'm either wearing absolutely no makeup at all, no, nothing or this. Like there's no in between. Um, but if I, you know, really couldn't be bothered, then I would just go for that. And then another eye product that I really love, that I've been switching between this and the um, fourth shade in the Dolce Vita palette. So it's a really good dupe. So this one here, so like the glitter that you pack on at the end. Um, this is by Topshop. This is the Eyeshadow in Shangri-La. 
um, and it's in a really cute little, it's really, I really like the Topshop packaging for the Topshop Beauty, um, but it's just a really nice glitter shimmer pigment that you can just pack on because if you only put a teeny bit amount on it doesn't really have a colour to it it just has a shimmer so you can wear this over the top of any eyeshadow colour but I am typically wearing bronze and browns at the moment so this just fits in if I want a bit of extra shine on the eyes and obviously it's from Topshop so it's super affordable so I've been really liking that and I love Topshop makeup and then for a brow product, I tried this, I'd say like a year and a half ago when it first launched on QVC. It's It Cosmetics. It's now launched in the UK. This is the It Brow Power. This is a mini one, I believe, a little travel size. But this shade is universal, so there's only one shade, which means if you've got black eyebrows or if you've got blonde eyebrows, it will still do the job. It just depends on how hard you push down. So my eyebrows obviously are like they're quite fair um, when I've not got product on, but I like it. I like them a bit darker and a bit fuller. Um, but it would work for like, it works. For my, so I've given my other one to my mum who has red hair and very blonde eyebrows um, and it works fine for her. And I know Jodes has used it and she's obviously got like black eyebrows. So it really does work for everybody. And it has a spoolie on one end and then the wind up retractable pencil on the other. And I just really like it. I've been really enjoying this and it's a really good touch up as well. Like if you're on the train and you look in the mirror and you're in different lighting and you're like, oh, I missed a bit, you can just, lightly fill that in and it's fine and that is actually everything those are my favorites for this month there's not too many but there's just a few that i wanted to share with you let me know what products you have been loving recently do you still like favorites videos i'm thinking of doing an empties video because i've used up a lot of products recently so let me know if you'd like to see that because it just means that i can give you like a legit review whether i'd be repurchasing it or not whether it's just going to go in the bin um, so yes, and I'd quite like to throw all my empty bottles and stuff away. So let me know if you would like to see that or not. And let me know as always, any videos you would like to see from me. Give me a big fat thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.